Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about the inner join. The inner join is one of the most typical joins that is used in SQL. Its job is to emphasize the relational nature of, our, uh, of a database. It will match the columns, uh, the column value of one of the tables uh, to the column value in another table. And most of the times, uh, we will use a primary key in one of the tables and a, and a foreign key in another table. So just um, before starting this lecture, before diving into coding, just a little bit about primary key, foreign key. Uh, a primary key cannot have a null value. Each, each table can have only one primary key and the primary key can be related to another table as a foreign key. And this highly represents the relational nature of our database. We can, of course, generate IDs automatically with the help of auto increment field. Uh, and of course, primary keys, they do support our auto increment value. And um, we cannot delete a primary key value from the parent table, which is used as a foreign key in a child table. So if you were to delete like a table uh, which has uh, which has which houses the primary key, and that primary key is linked to another table's foreign key, you cannot delete that primary key's table. You have to first delete the child table, which has the foreign key, and then that foreign key relationship is gone, and then you can delete the parent table. Uh, foreign keys, again, they are like a field in another table that is the primary key in, in that parent table. So you have a parent table, you have a child table, and in the parent table you have primary key. When you want to link that parent table to another table, you link it via that primary key. So that primary key is going to be used again within the other table. That other table will be called the child table and that primary key is no longer called primary key, it is called a foreign key because it was um, uh, because it was inherited from another table. And uh, foreign keys, of course, they could have null values and we could have more than one foreign key. I would like to talk a little bit about a unique key. We do have unique constraint, which could be a null. Each table can have more than one unique constraint and unique constraints cannot be related to another, another table's um, key as a foreign key. So you have these tables. We have talked about the relational model before. So whenever you want to connect these two, two tables, when you want to, you want these two tables to have a relationship, you are going to use the primary key. So you have table one, you have table two. You're going to use the primary key in table one. And if you want table one and table two to have a relationship, you're going to use the table one's primary key as a foreign key within table two. That way, table two and table one, both of them are related to each other. So let's uh, go over an example of this relation of nature of SQL. We have already selected our database and I'm going to say a select. Uh, now, what, what are the tables that we're going to use? So I'm going to say employees and I'm going to alias it as E. Then we are going to write the inner join keyword or phrase as well. So, and in here, I'm going to pass in departments, alias it as D. Then we are going to use the on keyword. So what it is that we want to basically make this relationship between. So we need to have two things. So two things that are going to create a relationship. So I'm going to grab the department, department, the department ID from the employees table. So let's first off take a look at that. Here is the department ID in the employees table. Each department ID belongs to one or more employees. So basically what we are trying to do here is to grab all the department IDs from the employees table for each individual person and then check which department ID belongs to which department in the departments table. So you can see that in here, in the departments table, we have 11 department IDs. And in here, let's take a look at that here. We do have 11 um, department IDs here. And each department ID belongs to one or more employees. So we want to know which employee 
belongs to which department based on their department ID. That's very cool, right? So we are going to say in from the department ID of the employees, I want to cross, I want to enter join it. I want to join it with the department department ID in the departments uh, table. Now, what are the columns that we want to retrieve? So let's first grab the first name and I'm going to from the employees table. Then we are going to grab the last name from the employees table. And eventually I want to grab the uh, department name as well. So I want to know based on again, based on each individual employee's department ID, which department it is that they belong to, which which is going to be extracted from the from another table. And that is really cool. So D dot, where is the department name? Department name is within uh, department underscore name within this table. So let's uh, zoom out a little bit. Let's save this file. Let's run it. We have got an error unknown department D dot. Okay, so we have Inner join D part. Oh, I have misspelled this. Make sure you spell it correctly. You can see that. There we go. Perfect. Let's enter. Save that again. Let's run it. There we go. So now, Stephen King belongs to executive department. Why is that? So let's take a look at that, Stephen King. So if we come here, uh, where is Stephen King? There we go. So this is Stephen King. We know that the Stephen King's department ID is nine. Let's take a look at nine belongs to the executive department. So Stephen King is belongs to executive department. Then now we could do it using department. This is, I think, better. So we have accounting. Shelley and William belong to accounting. We know one department ID could belong to more than one people more than one employee so these are like co-workers and then we have finance these people are in the finance starting from this greenberg all the way to pop then we have it marketing purchasing sales shipping and web development which is just jennifer so if you take a look at the department id for web development is one so we should have only one employee in that department there we go so you can see jennifer whalen is in the web development department. There we go. So with this, our lecture comes to an end. See you in the next one.